Hi guys, I'm Mary and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I will be guiding you through a 90 minute vinyasa flow. So feel free to grab any props, any water, anything else that you might wanna have for practice. And we'll go ahead and begin. Enjoy and namaste. So we'll begin either seated just on the mat or you can grab a block to elevate your hips. Uh, sitting in a cross-legged easy seated pose or you can always come to the shins, coming to a hero's pose. So placing the backs of your hands on your knees, letting the palms face up. And we'll just start with a couple minutes of Intention setting, breathing, big deep inhales, fills the lungs, and exhale. Couple more just like that. Inhale, fills the belly, chest, throat. Windy exhale. Couple more just like that. Grounding. Coming into your space on the mat. Mm. Letting the spine feel lifted and long, the back of the neck long, subtle tuck of the chin, almost as though you have a tennis ball in between the chest and the chin. A couple more nice deep breaths, letting the day behind you melt away. Forgetting about the things you have to do after this. So today, harness the energy from your solar plexus chakra. Reignite your inner fire. Try something new. Maybe something that scares you. Maybe you surprise yourself. <sighs> you can rest the backs of your palms back onto your knees, letting the palms shine open towards the sky, receiving energy, receiving light, fire. You can start to introduce your Ujjayi breath. Keeping the lips closed as you inhale and keep them closed as you exhale, toning the back of the throat. Almost as though you have a window or a pane of glass in front of you that you're trying to fog up. So inhale, sweep your arms out, around and up, gaze follows upwards towards your palms. Exhale, plant the right palm down next to your right hip, side bend towards the right. Then lengthening through the left side body, you can even walk your right fingertips away, pressing slightly down and forward into the floor to feel a deeper stretch to the left side body. Inhale brings you back up, gaze follows. Exhale, left palm plant, side bend towards the left. Again, you can walk the fingertips away, pressing down into the palm, deepening the stretch of the right side body. Inhale, lift you back up, let the heart shine upward. Exhale one more time to the right side, the right side bend stretch. Maybe this time you let the gaze follow upwards. Hmm. Inhale, lift you up. One more time to the left side. Again, maybe your gaze follows upwards. If that's comfortable on your neck, making sure your right shoulder drops away. Inhale, bring the arms back overhead. Exhale, bring the arms forward round the spine, hollow out to the front side of the body. 
Inhale, open it up, reach the arms to the sides, like a little skating pad out. Exhale, arms forward, round the spine, puff the back. Inhale, open to the front side of the body. Mm. Round the spine, exhale. Inhale, open it up. One more round, exhale. And inhale. Bring mm. the arms back down to the sides. front of your mat, coming into your tabletop pose, good, so pointer fingers pointing forward, elbow creases pointing forward, spine is long, gaze slightly down, inhale drops the belly, lifts the chin and chest, Exhale, round, press the palms into the earth. That pose. Inhale, sway the belly down. Lift the chin and the knees. Exhale, push the palms down around the spine. Keep going at your own pace with breath. Exhale, round. Inhale, coming back to a neutral spine. Rolling the ribs. Inhale, down, around. Exhale as you pop the ribs up. Inhale as you sway the ribs down, around. Exhale, back up. And continue reverse directions. Exhale. Inhale, sway the belly down. Rib roll round to the right. And when you've completed, you can come back to your neutral spine. Finding your center, your balance. Extend your left leg behind you. Maybe you can lift the leg, maintaining control through the core. Reaching your right arm forward, holding here. Exhale, pull the knee to the elbow, tone the belly, puff the back up. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, pull it in. Last one, inhale. Exhale, hand and knee come down. One breath. Inhale, sways the belly down. Exhale, pops the back up. Coming back to your neutral spot on this time. Setting the right leg behind you. Lifting the toes off the mat. It does not have to be high. Finding your balance. Reach your left arm forward. Find an inhale. Get a little longer. Exhale, pull knee the elbow. Pull the navel back. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, hand down, knee down. Curl the toes. Exhale into your downward facing dog. Mm. Okay, so here, pressing the pads of the knuckles down and forward into the mat. Bringing the elbow creases to point forward, lengthening the spine, letting the hips be high, maybe bending one leg, extending the other, and then switching sides, bending one knee, extending the other leg, feeling a little stretch through the backs of the thighs, the hamstrings. Inhale, 
reach your arms out or rounding up or Bhattasana. Exhale, hands to prayer. Tadasana, mountain pose. Slight tap of the chin. Feet are hips distance apart. Toes point forward. Soft bends of the knees. Push down to the heels. Feel a little longer through the backs of the thighs. As the shoulders roll back and down from the ears, letting the tailbone be slightly tucked. Inhale, arms out around and up. Exhale, arms to the sides, twist to your right, making sure your right hip is pulling forward, your left hip is pulling back, keeping the hips square. Inhale, arms go up, back through center. Exhale, arms to the sides, twist to the left this time. Inhale, get a little longer through the spine. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Again, left hip pulling forward, right hip pulling back. Inhale, arms up one more time, each side. Exhale, arms to the sides, twist to the right. Inhale, arms reach out around the core of the 
Exhale, close with your hands at the heart center. Tadasana Mountain Pose. Let the arms reach long by the sides. Palms are forward. Shaking a little weight forward, a little weight back, a little side to side, and then coming directly to the center of your heels. Soften the bends of the knees. Slight tap of the chin, slight tap of the pelvis. Inhale, arms around up, or dasasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, spine lengthens forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, one more time, out around and up, or the hastasana. Exhale, bring your arms out to the sides. Palms facing forward. Now bring the big toes together, heels just slightly apart. Inhale, bend the knees, shift the hips back, sweep the arms down, forward, and up. Chair pose, Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift the spine, round of the head, and lengthens forward. Exhale, fold just a little bit deeper. Stepping your feet back to your plank pose. Inhale, brings you forward. Exhale, bends the elbows 90 degrees. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, bring it back to your Adho Mukha Stranasana. Mm -hmm. Stepping your right foot forward just about three feet or so. You may widen the stance. And then spin your left heel down at about 45 degrees. Ground down, move the heels down before you lift and rise into your Virabhadrasana one. Letting the hips face forward. Think about pulling your right hip back. Left hip spins forward. Arms overhead, shoulders relax down. Get a little longer, a little taller. Exhale, bring the hands down. Step your right foot back to meet the left. Inhale, shift you forward. Exhale, bend the elbows 90 degrees. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Couple breaths here. Mm. Now this time, inhale as you step your left foot forward just about three feet. Walk the hands back to frame your left foot. Spin your right heel down. Feel grounded and rooted into Mother Earth. Squeeze everything into the midline. Sweep the arms forward and up, lifting into Virabhadrasana one on your left side. And then keeping the core calm, pulling the navel towards the back. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step the left foot to meet the right. Inhale, shift you forward. Exhale, bend the elbows. Pull it up and through. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three to five breaths here. Maybe pedal off the heels, pushing one down and the other. your heels. You can step or float the feet forward. Inhale, bend the knees, shift your hips down and back, arms reach up, palms face in. Uttanasana, chair pose. Exhale, Tadasana, mountain pose. Mm. Inhale, and down, down and up. Mudra Hastasana, exhale. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Hmm. Step your left foot back and then lower your left knee down. Good, so we're going to stay here, making sure your right knee is over the ankle. Letting the heart be open, chest open. 
Inhale. Extend your right leg, hamstring stretch, shift the hips back, making sure not to round your spine too much. Think about reaching the heart towards the toes, past the knee. And then exhale, surrender down. Good, so you can stay here in the stretch, or you can inhale, bend the knee, and extend the leg. Getting a little dynamic stretching in. Good, now next time your right knee is bent, curl your left toes behind you, lift and extend through the back leg, making sure you're grounded down to the right foot, Lift the arms, lift the torso, high crescent lunge. Good, so here again, pulling your right hip back, left hip forward, keep the hips nice and square, level with one another. Exhale, thunderbolt forward, loading up your right leg. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, thunderbolt forward. Bring your hands to the mat and lift your left toe, standing splits. Bow the forehead down to the shin. Toes pointing down, left toes pointing down, the left hip pointing down. And then stepping your left foot to meet the right, bending the knee. Coming into your Utkatasana chair pose. Mm. Couple breaths. Feel the inner thighs spiraling in and down. Feel the knees over the ankles. Feel the work in the quads, your hamstrings. And then inhale, lift all the way. Exhale, arms to the side. Inhale, arms to the outer round and up. Exhale, bring the arms out to the side. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step or float the feet back. Coming into your Chaturanga Dindasana. Exhale, bend the elbows to 90 degrees. And then inhale, bring it up. Your upward facing dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Couple breaths here. Hmm. Just really warming up the body here. Closing the eyes, continuing that ujjayi breath, creating inner heat, inner fire. Inhale, lift the heels, and then you can float or step the feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift, spine lengthens forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms go out around the cup. Exhale, arms to the side. Sit up, sit on mountain pose. Inhale, arms go out around and up. Exhale, forward fold. This time, stepping your left foot back, lowering the left knee down, keeping right knee over the ankle. And then lift your left knee, step right foot back to meet the left. Lift your left toes. Pull the left knee into the chest. Really cut the shoulders up. And then step your left foot through. This time lowering your right knee towards the mat. Settling down into your hips. Feeling length of the spine. Left knee over the ankle. Inhale, extend your left leg. Shifting the hips back. Now you can stay here and breathe. Or you can find a little dynamic stretching. Exhale, bending through the left knee, 
sinking the hips down towards the mat. Inhale, open it back up.
Down where the face is up. Exhale this time, pull knee in towards the chest. Hugging up the shoulders. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, right knee to the left elbow, twist. Inhale, back up, down dog. Pull right knee into the chest. Puff up the shoulders, get a little higher, and then place your right foot down in between the palms. Walk the hands back to frame your right foot. Spin your left heel down 45 degrees. Open up to warrior two. Extend the arms out to the sides. Letting the gaze follow towards your right fingertips. Right knee should be bent about 90 degrees. Pressing slightly outwards towards the right side. And settling into your warrior two. Here the awesome two. Inhale, two warrior pulses. Extending the right leg, reaching the arms up. Accessing a little deeper. Inhale, arms over head. Maybe let the right toes go. Exhale, sink into your warrior two. Making sure the back left pinky toe is really pressing down here. You're almost gonna feel as though you're pressing away and in also, all at the same time. Okay, so you're nice and strong here. Inhale, arm, right arm and chest forward. Bring the forearm to the back. You can reach the left arm up to the sky or up overhead right here. There's a couple options here. You can keep your right elbow bigger. Or you can see a little bit more, bringing the fingertips down to the mat or a block. You can bind here. Bring your right arm underneath of your right thigh. Left arm comes behind, reaching for the right hand. And so opening up to the shoulders. A little bit more. Inhale, back up, warrior two. Exhale, left hand touches the back of the left thigh. Right arm reaches up and back, peaceful warrior. Inhale, brings you back up, warrior two. One more time, back to your peaceful warrior. Extending your right leg, keeping a soft bend in your right knee. Here is triangle. Inhale, brings you back to warrior two. Shoulder, shoulder, legs down away from the ears. Extend the right leg straight. Shift the hips back. Reach your right fingertips forward. Keep length in the spine. Just drop the right fingertips down to the shin and reach the arm up overhead. Chicken hmm. asana, triangle pose. Inhale back to your warrior two. Twist. Inhale back up. 
Exhale, pull it through one more time. Hug the shoulders get a little bit higher. And place your left foot down in between your palms. Spinning your right heel down 90 degrees. Get your grounding. Open it up, warrior two here. We draw some in two. Sinking into your left knee. Left knee directly over the ankle. And here you can press your left knee just slightly to the left. Opening up that hip, your inner thigh. Making sure you can see your big toe. Inhale, two warrior pulses. Inhale, left leg extends. Arms reach up, gaze falls. Exhale, bring back down, warrior two. Next one, inhale. Maybe the left toes follow. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach your left arm forward. Bring your forearm to the thigh. Reach your right arm up or overhead. Extended side angle. Again, many options here. You can stay here. You can grab a block, place your hand on a block. You can place your hand outside of your left ankle. You can bind. Inhale, bring you back up, warrior two. Exhale, peaceful warrior. So your right fingertips touch the back of your right thigh. Left knee stays bent. Maybe sink it a little bit deeper. And reach your left arm up and back. Inhale, brings you back to your warrior two. Side angle, extended side angle. Left forearm to the thigh. Reach your right arm up and overhead. Inhale, lift back to warrior two. Extend through your left leg. Bringing your right hand to touch the back of your right thigh. And your left arm comes up and over. Reverse triangle. Inhale, warrior two. Arms extend to the side. And then extend your left leg one more time. Shift the hips back, left fingertips reach forward, and then just drop the fingertips down wherever you can. Right arm reaches up, length of the spine. Think about sucking your left hip underneath of your right, so you really open up here. Mm. Inhale back up to your warrior two. Exhale, wind the other hands down. Step your left foot back, plank pose. Inhale, shift you forward, bend the elbows 90 degrees. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, here you can lift your heels and step or float the feet forward. Uttanasana, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, arms through outer and then up. Exhale, Tadasana, mountain pose. <sighs> You're closing the eyes. Continuing with the intention that you set at the very beginning of the class. Remember it. Good, so shifting a little bit more weight into your left foot. Lightening up the weight in your right foot. So lift through the right heel. You can stay here. This is fine. This is where you are today. That's perfect. Or you can lift your right knee up. Coming into a single leg of Tadasana. Good, and this is here, this here, this is enough. Or you can bring your right hand to the right knee, bring your left hand to your left hip. You can be here. Or you can reach your right hand down to the right toes and extend your right leg long. The heel should feel as though it's pressing away. You shouldn't be leaning back too much. You should have a soft bend in your left knee. 
You can stay here. Or if you'd like, you can open your right leg to the side. You can open your left arm out to the side. You can let the gaze follow. Coming back. Bending the right leg, single legged to the snap. Crossing right ankle over your left thigh. Bend into your left knee, sink the hips back, making sure your right foot is flexed to protect your right knee. Or you can stay here, or you can find a little twist, bringing the hands to prayer at the heart center, twisting towards the left, bring your right elbow to the instep of your right foot. On your inhale, lift back to single leg to Dasana. And exhale, swing your heel back. Extend your right leg behind you. Hinging forward from the hips, coming into Vira Vajrasana 3, Warrior 3. And letting the heart shine forward and through. You can bring yours forward, out to the sides, back behind you. You can bind here, interlacing the fingertips, extending the arms, opening the shoulders and the chest a little bit more. Start to bend through your left knee, reaching your right toes to the back of the mat. Bring the hands down, drop your right knee, bring your left hand inside of your left foot, and then just heel toe your left foot a little wider out to the side. Coming into a nice low lizard lunge. Now here you can stay lifted onto your palms, just trying to heart through. Just sitting here and breathing. Or you can roll to the outer knife edge of your left foot, just letting your left knee kind of fall out to the side. You can stay here. You can bend through your right knee, reaching back with your left hand, finding a twist and a bind, stretching your right quad. You can stay here. Or you can come down to your right elbow, deepening the stretch. Now letting the gaze follow wherever the neck allows, either down towards the neck or up past the left shoulder. Same here. Another two to three breaths. Hmm. And so if you have the bind, release your right foot, coming back onto your palms. Lift your right knee, throw the right toes. Step your left foot back to meet the right. Inhale forward. Exhale, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, pulls you up and through. And we will just meet in your downward facing dog, either meeting in down dog or child's pose. If down dog is not restful for you today, hmm. coming back into your downward facing dog. And dropping the knees down for tabletop. Inhale, pat for cat. Exhale, round it down. Inhale, open it. Lift the chin, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine, puff the back up. Coming back to a neutral tabletop. Curl the toes, extend the left. Lift the heels, lift the hips, and walk the toes forward. 
Utanasana flow forward. Mm. Inhale, arms move out around and up. Lord of the Sassana. And exhale to Bassana Mountain Pulse. Palms face forward. Shift your weight forward. Back. Right. Coming to your center ground. Put a little more weight into your right leg. And lift your left heel. Lighten up the load on your left side. So you're going to stay here. And then this is perfect. Or lift your left leg. In line with the left hip, staying here, spreading your left toes, maybe finding a little wiggle. Bring your right hand to the hip, bring your left hand to your left knee. Now here again, this is perfectly enough. If this is where you are today, then this is where you are today. Otherwise, you can reach your left fingertips down to the toes. Extend the left leg, push the heel away. Lift through the chest, lift through the spine and the back of the right thigh. Stay here. Or bring your right leg, or your left leg out to the side. Ah! Left leg out to the side. You can bring your right arm towards the right and let the gaze fall away. Extended hand to big toe pose. Now when you're ready, bring everything back through center. Crossing your left ankle over your right back. You can stay here or bend into the right knee, shifting the hips back. Keeping your left foot flat again to keep your left knee protected. So you can stay here. You can find that twist again. Palms prayer, bring your left elbow to the instep of your left foot. Or you can fly here. So you can plant the palms down. Let's say a little bit, about 10 inches in front of your right big toes. Press the palms down, bend the elbow, and then rest your left shin onto your triceps, flexing your left foot. And then lifting your right toes. You're letting the gaze fall forward. Let the core be toned and strong. Keep breathing. And wherever you are, we will meet in single leg tadasana. Bring your arms up overhead and just swing your left leg back, extending the leg behind you. Hinging the torso forward, keeping the heart, the chest shining forward. The left toes stay pointing down. The left hip stays pointing down. Again, you can keep your arms forward to the side, back, or bind. If you go for the bind, make sure to bind with the opposite, the goofy side. And then bend with the right knee, extending the left toes behind you. Dropping the left knee down. Bring the palms down in between your right foot. And then just heel toe your right foot out to the side. Giving yourself a little wider stance. For your little as much. Mm. Surrendering the hips down. You can roll to the outer right knife edge of your right foot. Bring your right knee just out to the side, opening your right hip a little bit more. You can stay here, or you can bend your left knee. Reach back with the right hand. Gently pull the heel in a little closer to stretch to the top of your left thigh, that left quad. You can stay here, or drop to your left elbow. Double breaths here. Mm. Letting the right shoulder roll open. Three 
facing your left foot gently, trying to syringe up the foot, lifting back onto the palms. Curving your left toes. And then just step your left foot forward, nice and wide to match your right toes turned out, coming into a squat position. You can take a seat on a block if you would like. You can come up a little bit higher. Just making sure your core is pulled in, your hips are open, and your heart to your chest is lifted. So you can walk a little right, a little left. And then inhale, send the legs, extend the arms. And forward fold, nice wide legged forward fold. Shifting your hips a little right, a little left. Lock the toes in so that they're about hips distance apart. Plant your right hand down in front of the face. Bend through the right knee, keep the left leg straight. Open up the left arm, little twist, little hamstring stretch. Then maybe lifting onto the fingertips or if a block is handy, lifting a little bit higher with your hand on the block. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Plant the left hand down in front of the face, bend your left knee, open the right arm up. Mm. Twist. Mm. Exhale, fold it down. You're going to plant your palms, just step the feet back. And then drop the knees, coming into a tabletop. Inhale, cow pose, raise the belly down. Exhale, press the palms down, pop the back up. Inhale, sway the belly down, cow. Exhale, pop the back up, grounding through the spine. Coming back to a neutral tabletop. Extend your right leg back. Send your left arm forward. Lift through the right toes. Just holding here. Working on your core balance. So press the left palm down. Try not to sink it. Your right palm. Try not to sink into your right shoulder. Try to keep your right hip lifted in line with the left. Try to avoid any sinking in the spine. Try to really, really lengthen. Almost like your back waist area. You want to pull up using the core. One more breath here. Holding balance. Exhale, hand and knee down. Left leg extends. Right arm extends. Lifting your left toes. Now holding here. Continue breathing. Maintain the length in the back of your neck. Again, pulling the navel back in towards the spine. And bring your hand in and down. Press back to your chest pose, Balasana. Arms reach forward. Forehead presses down into the mat. That third eye area. Maybe rub the head to forehead side to side. Massage that area. Reaching the arms a little bit longer, lifting onto the pads of the fingertips, lifting the elbows, feeling more length through the side bodies. And exhale, surrender a little bit deeper. Inhale, pulls you up to your tabletop. Exhale, back to your child's pose. Now, if you're in your child's 
arms wide open, keeping the big toes together. Turning down and lifting your thighs. Inhale, pulls you forward. Seal pose, sink the hips down. Pull the heels in towards the bum. Lift the chin, lift the chest. Exhale, back to child's pose. Bring your right knees just in front. Inhale, pulls you forward. Exhale, presses you back, child's pose. Inhale, seal pose. Shoulder blades squeezing together. Exhale, blossom. Extra fire, squeeze the knees and the inner thighs together as you lift the hips to the 
one inch or so above your heels. Same here. And then gently drop the heels down, drop the bum down, coming into your boat pose. So lifting the toes, your toes can always stay down. Try to shift more forward to the sit bones rather than back towards the tailbone. So really, really lengthening through the spine, heart is open, chest is open, lifting the toes, and reaching the arms forward. You can always keep that touch behind the thighs with a little extra support. And we 
Release that through center. Drop the toes down. Keep the heels lifted. Bring the arms up. Use your belly. Use your core to lift yourself back into your boat pose. You can always assist yourself up with the hands. Lifting the toes. Crossing the ankles. Holding the palms and just coming to the front side of your body. So just resting down. Maybe make a little pillow, bring one cheek to the mat. Think about breathing into the back side body. The back side of your feet expands to the sky. Exhale, melt into the mat. Bring your other cheek to the mat. Lift your hand to the low. Bring the chin back and towards center. Reach the arms behind you. Fingertips really, really reach so much so that your shoulders and your chest lift off the mat. Squeeze the inner thighs, the heels together. Press the hip points down. Pull the navel back away from the mat as you lift the thighs and you lift the upper body, coming into your locust pose. Exhale, lower back down. One more round, just like that. Reaching the fingertips behind you, squeezing everything into the midline, drawing the navel back as you lift the heart, lift the thighs off the mat, locust pose. Hands back for the heels. 
Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more to the front of the body. The front of the thighs, the shoulders, the chest. Good. Coming back up, hands to the hips. Bring the hips down to the heels. Keep your left leg bent. 
Extend your right leg out, slightly on the diagonal. Sole of the left foot to the inner right thigh, flex the right foot. Inhale, bring those out around and up. Exhale, right hand, right forearm, right elbow down inside of your right thigh. Left arm reaches up and overhead. If the neck allows, letting the gaze follow upwards. It's not in your practice today. Let the gaze follow down. Maybe close the eyes. Exhale, heart to the shin, forehead to the shin, surrender over your right thigh, reach the hands to your foot, your ankle, your knee, your shin, past the foot.
Thank you. 